Chapter 2261, A Period of Years There was a small cave hidden behind that waterfall and when that young man entered, there were seven to eight other young men who were similar in age to him. They were also dressed in tattered clothes, their faces all dusty and dirty. However, they all had an undaunting gaze that were sharp like blades. Amongst them, there was an elegant man dressed in blue with his hands behind his back. The moment that young man saw him, he immediately knelt down on one knee. Master Gu, that man standing right before them was none other than Zephyr Academy's Gali Sheng, the creator of the spirit healing technique. The person who was supposed to be in the lower realm had mysteriously appeared in the middle realm. Although five years had passed, yet the time did not leave any traces on his face. He only looked slightly more mature and his gentle face now had more fortitude to it. He looked at the people knelt before him before he gave a slight nod in acknowledgement. How, did you manage to find anything? He asked. Your subordinate has discovered that in the midst of the West Palace, they are building the rune totem, but it is much larger than the one in the drawing that the spirit Jade Palace Lord had given. The young men who had just rushed in reported immediately. The people who were in the cave were all men of the Ruilin army. Five years ago, the change in the Middle Realm began, a devastating battle that had ensued, and Jun Wuxi's letter had stirred up a wave in the Lower Realm. By the time Giao Chu and the rest had rushed up to the Middle Realm with reinforcements, they had discovered that they were a step too late. Ren Huang's sacrifice, Jun Wu Yao was captured, Yan Bu Gui had died in the battle. Jun Wuxi went missing and the Spirit Jade Palace had suffered heavy casualties. Su Ya, Tenzi and the Spirit Jade Palace Lord were seriously injured. Kling Yue and the rest had brought people and had spent half a year to search for Jun Wuxi but they could not find a single trace. Not once had they had never given up but it was at that time that the Nine Temples started to consolidate their powers. To avoid confronting them. The people from the lower elm could only gather their forces and continue to search for Jun Wuxi in secret. No one would have ever thought that just like that, five years had passed. Over the past five years, the middle realm had changed entirely, the nine temples had grasped complete control over the middle realm. After the spirit Jade Palace Lord had conveyed Jun Wuxi's decision to Kling Yue, she immediately brought them to settle down in the lower realm. They could only continue searching the middle realm for Jun Wuxi in secrecy. Although five years had passed, not one day had they stopped looking for her. At the same time, the Nine Temples had started recruiting people to build the palaces. From the Spirit Jade Palace Lord, Kling Yue came to know the relationship between the Nine Temples and the Upper Realm. The construction of these palaces were highly likely to be related to the blood sacrifice of the Three Realms hence while searching for Jun Wuxi, they had sent people to infiltrate the construction sites to monitor the movement of the Upper Realm. Gali Sheng had also came forward to the Middle Realm and had successfully won the favor of the Nine Temples. He had gained a foothold with his spirit healing technique and had quite a status there. It looked as if he had submitted Admitted to them but in reality, he became the main point of contact for the Ruilin army in the Middle Realm, in charge of contacting all the spies of the Ruilin army as he consolidated all the information. Sure enough, the Upper Realm had started to move. He narrowed his eyes, although he had successfully infiltrated the Nine Temples, but because of his identity, he could not get privileged information. The heads at each palace built had more access to these privileged information and although he had attempted getting close to them, he found that they were not a friendly bunch. Chapter 2262, A Period of Years Master Gu, what movements are they in the Nine Temples? One young man from the Ruilin army looked at Gali Sheng and asked. Gali Sheng shook his head and said, the Nine Temples are completely controlled by the Upper Realm, no matter what. They are just mere puppets. The bloody battle that happened that year at the Cloudy Brook Academy, Bahi and his people had all been completely annihilated and did not reveal the traitorous acts of the Nine Temples. However, the people from the Upper Realm were no fools. If Bahi and his people had been completely annihilated, how could the Nine Temples escape almost unscathed? Although there was no conclusive evidence, they had already discovered their disloyalty, therefore, after the incident at the Cloudy Brook Academy, all nine of the Nine Temple Lords had been arrested and had used their lives to threaten the fate of the Nine Temples. From that day that the Nine Temples started to unify the Middle Realm, 
the forces of the nine temples had been controlled by the upper realm. Now that the ones leading them were not the original nine temple lords, but personnel specially selected by the upper realm, they had gained full control over the nine temples and had used them to control the entire middle realm with an iron fist. Now, it could be said that the entire middle realm had turned into a plaything in the hands of the upper realm. Everything was for the construction of the rune totems for the blood sacrifice of the three realms. About young Miss is there still no news? Another man could not help but ask. A faint glint flashed by Gali Sheng's eyes, eventually, he could only sigh helplessly as he shook his head and replied, No, there is none at all. It had been five years, over the past five years. They had found all the Spirit Jade Palace disciples that had been scattered all around but there was still no news of Jun Wuxi at all. It was as if she had evaporated from the world, no matter how much manpower and resources they had used, they could not find a single trace at all. Heaven helps the worthy, young miss would definitely be safe and sound. We only need to do everything that we should and I believe that young miss would come back one day. That soldier of the Ruilin army had on an unwavering gaze, he strongly believed that she was still alive and she was somewhere in the middle realm. She did not appear because she had something even more important to do, there would definitely be one day that she would appear once again and bring them miracles. That soldier's words was like every other soldier in the Ruilin army, no one believed that she had died. In a sense, no news was good news. That's right. We will all wait for young miss to come back as if cheering on, another young man also said in a determined tone. They saw that same affirmation in each other's eyes. What they believed was the truth that remained unchanged in their hearts. Gali Sheng looked at the unwavering gazes of the soldiers before him, there was a hint of gratification within. He still remembered the moment when the news of Jun Wuxi's disappearance had reached the lower realm. The entire Lin Palace had been smothered in silence. Gali Sheng was present at that time and after Kling Yu I had told them everything, Jun Xian and Jun King had remained dead silent. Just when everyone thought that the two closest relatives of Jun Wuxi would suffer a devastating blow, Jun Xian stood up with resolution. Wu Xi is the child of the Jun family and would not be so weak. Since now that the crisis of the three realms is approaching, how could we, who are part of it just stand by and do nothing? Hear my orders, all soldiers of the Ruilin army are to be on alert. Before we find Wu Xi, it is necessary that we stabilize the situation. Although we cannot compare to the upper realm in terms of strength, but we cannot let them do as they please. Chapter 2263, A Period of Years The words that Jun Xian had said then had recovered the situation that was about to collapse. His words had spurred on their spirits and the entire Ruilin army have been thoroughly motivated, as if revitalized, their grandeur was even more imposing than the past. At that moment on, the entire lower realm had mobilized all their forces and integrated under the leadership of Kling Yui. They had undergone rigorous training and had been cultivating at a crazy speed. The Ruilin army had been sent in large batches to the Middle Realm to pay attention to the movements in the Middle Realm. In just two more days, it will be time for the young master Giaochu and his companions to come out of seclusion. At that time, I would need to head back to the Lower Realm for a while. The rest of you are to keep observing the movements of the Middle Realm. If there is any abnormality, Please send news back as soon as possible. Gali Sheng said. Yes. After asking a few more questions and ascertaining the recent movements of the Middle Realm, Gali Sheng waved his hand and the men of the Ruilin army immediately dispersed. In the half built palace, the youth woke up in trepidation upon hearing the boisterous shouts from the supervisors. Everything that happened last night flashed by in his mind, and that youth was worried about that young man. But when he got up, he saw that the young men that had disappeared last night stood amongst the crowd, looking at him, it looked as if he had just woken up as well, the youth blinked his eyes in disbelief, after he had determined that he was not hallucinating, the youth stood up and started to doubt if last night's matter had even happened at all, last night, could it be that he was really dreaming, the supervisors waved their whips and hurried them, the youth did not dare to delay any further and hurried on, the complexion of the middle aged man from yesterday did not look too good, he was pale and his movements sluggish, just as he walked under the scorching sun, cold sweat started to trickle down his forehead and his figure started to sway, fortunately, 
that youth had noticed it and had quickly rushed to his side to support him, Uncle Liu. When the youth touched the middle-aged man, he felt that his body's temperature was abnormally high and his face immediately revealed unprecedented anxiousness. Uncle Liu swallowed some saliva but a wave of dizziness swept over him and he held the youth some on one hand and barely stabilized his body. Uncle Liu, have you fallen sick? That youth asked anxiously, he had just came here for a short time and in the beginning, he had a hard time and had suffered many whiplashes. Thanks to Uncle Liu's care, he had became familiar with everything quickly. Now that he saw that Uncle Liu had fallen sick, he was so anxious that he had almost cried out. Don't say anything, I'm fine. Uncle Liu shook his head and did not dare to show his discomfort. Over here, anyone found to be sick would not receive any treatment. All that awaited them was exile. Once the supervisors discovered that he had fallen sick, then he would not even be entitled to that bit of food and water but be directly thrown into the wilderness to survive on his own. He had been here for so long and he had seen countless companions die this way so even if he was sick, he did not dare to show it. That youth gnashed his teeth. His eyes were filled with anxiousness but he knew that for Uncle Liu's condition, all he could do was to endure it. You two over there, hurry up. Are your bodies filled with lazy bones? Are you looking for a lashing, huh? When the supervisor at the side saw that the youth and Uncle Liu stood there without moving, he in that he went over and waved his long whip in his hand and lashed out without any mercy. That whip landed on that youth and Uncle Liu. That searing sensation immediately made them frown in pain. Uncle Liu fell to the ground directly and his unwell body started to convulse the moment he fell. Uncle Liu. That youth cried out and rushed to his side in a panic as he tried to support Uncle Liu. Chapter 2264 a period of years still so tough eh? Such a lazy piece of trash, hurry up and get off that lazy ass. That supervisor ferociously yelled as he walked over with his whip in hand. Totally ignoring the pleas of the youth, the whip in his hand continued to lash out at Uncle Liu. That youth was extremely frightened and scared. He could only lean down and hold tightly on to Uncle Liu protectively and bear the brunt of it. His pleas rang out continuously as he prayed that the supervisor would be merciful but his continuous pleas were eventually drowned out by the cruel whip cracks. Outside the palace, the other laborers looked at all these unfold before them with cold gazes. They had long been smothered by the hellish days that passed by, their hearts had been repressed and numb to such scenes that were familiar to them. They watched on without doing anything as that supervisor continued to rain down lashes on them until they were rolling on the ground while groaning in pain. Even though they could not bear it, but no one dared to utter a single word. They were afraid that speaking out would throw them into a similar situation of torture. Here, they did not have any human rights at all. The only thing that they could do was to follow the instructions of the supervisors and slog on day and night. The young man from the Ruilin army frowned when he saw that that youth had been beaten up until his entire body was covered with wounds. His eyes surged with with anger as he clenched both his fists at the side and used all his effort to suppress the anger rising within. He wanted so much to lop off the neck of the supervisor but he still had his own mission to accomplish and he had no other choice but to ignore all of this. If it was five years ago, the first thing he would do was to rush out and trample that supervisor onto the ground, but now, in the midst of it all, a black shadow suddenly descended from the sky and the speed of that black shadow was extremely fast. Everyone around could not even see what that black shadow looked like at all. All they could hear was a scream that sounded as if a pig had been slaughtered. The next thing they knew, the supervisor who was just whipping moments ago had been sent flying. Outside the palace, there was a deathly silence. Everyone stood rooted to the ground, stunned, as they watched that supervisor fly out. He landed heavily onto the stone steps in front of the palace. His head immediately smashed open as fresh blood and brains spilled all over the ground. Everyone sucked in a breath of cold air immediately and after looking carefully, they realized that the black shadow that had suddenly appeared was actually a tall man dressed in a black light armor. That man stood in the crowd, as his pair of sharp eyes swept over them and wherever his eyes passed by, it was as if a cold freezing wind had passed by. Everyone was shocked in place. Who's there? What audacity to come here and create trouble. Looking for death. 
several supervisors had finally snapped back from their stupor. When they saw that this man had actually dared to create a mess here, they immediately held up their whips and walked over. That black-robed man looked at the approaching supervisors coldly and suddenly snapped his fingers. In an instant, more than a dozen men dressed similarly whizzed in. Before the supervisors could even react, the figure of those men had already flashed before them, not giving any a single chance to react. With only a crisp sound of snapping, the heads of the supervisors were suddenly twisted off by those black-robed men. For a moment, the pungent smell of blood pervaded the entire palace. Under the scorching sun, a few geysers of blood sprayed out from the neck after the heads had been broken off. Blood splashed all around. Under the blazing sun, this was a frightening sight to behold. This gory scene scared all laborers and in an instant, those people seemed to have awoken from a nightmare as mournful screams resounded all throughout. The frightened laborers fled in all directions. The soldiers who were guarding outside rushed in in the midst of the chaos as hundreds of them surrounded the black-robed men. Chapter 2265 a period of years. The soldier of the Ruilin army saw the bloody scene and stood rooted in place. He peered through the fleeing crowd and looked at that group of black-robed men in light armor. His eyes suddenly widened. During the past five years, although most of the Ruilin army had been sent to the Middle Realm, they had never stopped their cultivation even while in the Middle Realm. Every half a year, they would replace a group of people and focus on cultivation. In five years, everyone in the Ruilin army had reached the Purple Spirit, some even had already started to advance into the Silver Spirit. It could be said that the current Ruilin army could compete with the elites of the Middle Realm. However despite his strength, he could not even see through the ranks of those black-robed men. The strength of those men were actually all above the Purple Spirit. What shocked him most, was the first person who appeared. The moment he had saw that person's appearance, his entire person was shocked in place and his body could not stop trembling. Who are you people? How dare you come here and create havoc? The guards frowned as they looked at the group of people who had suddenly appeared. They were all people who had came from the upper realm and had been sent to of the various palaces to keep track of the construction. Each and every one of them was a gold spirit and after coming to the middle realm, there was no one who could be their opponent forcing the laborers who had no choice but to toil and suffer in silence. The commander of the black-robed men looked coldly at the arrogant guard. His gaze was chilly and without saying a word, he only nodded his head slightly to his other companions. In the blink of an eye, without any warning, that group of black-robed men suddenly rushed up towards the guards. In an instant, blood splashed everywhere. The soldier from the Ruilin army who stood close by, looked incredulously at the scene before him with widened eyes. In the blink of an eye, hundreds of gold spirits had actually been annihilated by mere dozens of black-robed men. Moreover, the battle took only a short span of five minutes. Those guards did not even have the time to wail and they had already fallen to the ground lifelessly. Until the moment of death, they had not even fathomed what had happened. What an incredibly powerful force. After annihilating hundreds of guards, the black-robed men did not leave, but turned and walked into the half-built palace. The laborers who fled in all directions saw those powerful guards who had been arrogant all this while. Never would have thought that they would have such a day, to be scared the face of death and be slaughtered so easily. They were all so terribly scared and thought that they would also meet the same fate as them. However, the black-robed men did not seem to have any interest in them at all as they went into the palace. The youth who had blocked the blows for Uncle Yu supported him up as he subconsciously went over to the young man. Big brother, who are these people? That youth asked. The soldier of the Ruilin army stared at the palace without blinking as his clenched fists trembled in excitement. His sharp gaze reflected great joy and surprise. If one looked closely, it was not hard to see that those black-robed men did not use any spirit power in that battle. They emitted a strange black mist, but it was this very black mist that made the young man from the Ruilin army ecstatic. After he returned to his senses from the huge shock, he was just about to go forward to inquire but the palace before him suddenly blew up just as he took a step forward. Chapter 2266 
A period of years, a thunderous explosion echoed throughout the vast wilderness as scorching hot waves swept out with the explosion, countless rubble rained down as the people around started to cry out in fear as they escaped, clouds of dust swirled up as chaos ensued, those black robed men left as quickly as they came, wait the young man from the Ruilin army could only watch helplessly as he saw them leave at an alarming speed, by the time the words left his mouth, they had already left and he could only watch their departing backs in a daze. His heart started thumping fervently, Big Brother, who are they? That youth shrank back in fear, he thought that the guards were extremely strong but he did not expect that they could not even bear the assault from mere dozens of people. In just five minutes, they had all been annihilated. The strength of those black-robed men had already exceeded their cognition. Even gold spirits could be slaughtered so casually. Were this group of guys even human? The young man of the Ruilin army did not speak as a huge feeling of annoyance smoldered his chest. He should have gone up and asked when that man had first appeared. Damn it, Uncle Liu who was supported by the tooth was gasping as he advised warily, Little brat. Don't ask any further. Those people are not people whom you and I can provoke, Uncle Liu. Do you know who they are? That youth gasped in surprise. Uncle Liu looked around cautiously and only after determining that no one was paying attention to their conversation, he said softly, A thousand years ago, the Middle Realm was not like this. What twelve palaces, what nine temples, they were but an ignoble existence. Then, when the Dark Regions existed, the Nine Temples did not even have a say in anything. It was only after the Dark Emperor had fallen and the Dark Regions suddenly disappeared. A thousand years has passed already. This time, even after the Nine Temples had did so many wicked deeds and spent a great deal of effort but yet they still could not find the location of the Dark Regions. I thought that the Dark Regions would just lay low but ha ha ha. I didn't think that they could not endure it any more and started to retaliate. Just watch, provoking the dark regions, the nine temples only have the consequences to bear. Uncle Liu's voice was filled with gusto and satisfaction. The actions of the nine temples over the past few years had been nothing but horrendous and they were even more tyrannical than the dark regions. The dark regions only suppressed the major forces but did not touch the ordinary people. After the nine temples had taken over the middle realm, many people began looking forward to the return of the dark regions. Many prayed that the dark regions would come forth once again to suppress the nine temples. And now, they had finally saw hope. Uncle Yu, you, you mean that they are people from the dark regions? That youth widened his eyes in excitement. Uncle Yu replied, other than the dark regions, who can still use the power of the dark spirit. Just wait and see. The good days of the nine temples have come to an end. The words of Uncle Yu tugged at the heartstrings of the youth, looking at the ruins of the palace, his eyes were filled with yearning. Did the dark regions really make a comeback? In the midst of the strange silence, that young man from the that Ruilin army took a deep breath. He had to head back quickly and let Jun Xian know of what he had seen with his own eyes today. He had to let the entire lower realm know. He immediately turned and departed in a hurry. No matter what that youth shouted at him, he did not look back. His steps were swift and as he hurried on, his heart was full of hope and expectation. He was still alive, this time around he had appeared but with the identity of the dark regions. Then, does this mean that, young miss, she is well and alive, was she, also at the dark regions, chapter 2267, a period of years, the lower realm of today was very lively but despite that, everything was orderly, five years ago, Lin Palace and the Iron Heart Empress Kling Yui had jointly issued a conscription and for a time, the entire lower realm was boiling with excitement, since the unification of the lower realm, the division of the country soon became very vague. Over time, the word country had long ceased to exist. Most of the former armies had been disbanded and many soldiers who worked in various countries went home. However, the hot blood hidden in their hearts had not disappeared but increased with each passing day. This conscription suddenly caused an uproar in the lower realm and a large number of retired soldiers responded to the call. The Iron Blood Army that belonged to the Iron Blood Empress and the Ruilin Army had long been famous far and wide. As soon as the news came out, 
a large number of young and middle-aged men rushed to sign up. Many teenagers who had longed for the Ruilin army also eagerly tried to join the army. Now, the military might of the lower realm was far greater than the past when there were still countries. Among them, the force of the Iron Blood Army and the Ruilin army was even more astounding. At this moment, in the Lin Palace, there was a long silence in the hall. Kling Yue, Jun Xian, Mo Kie Nu An and Gali Sheng all were all seated in the main hall and a soldier of the Ruilin army knelt on one knee and reported all that he had seen. Time fleeted by but it had not left much traces on Jun Xian. He was calm and awe-inspiring as he used to be just that there were only some vicissitudes and wisdom added. Currently the infamous Duke Lin. Commander-in-chief of the Ruilin army was trembling in excitement as his eyes revealed a suppressed sentiment, what you just said are all true. Jun Xian stared at that soldier before him. His words started to falter. It had been five years. Five long years had passed. He had been repressing all the anxiety and uneasiness in his heart for more than 1,800 days and nights. He finally felt a sense of relief wash over him, even though Jun Xian was such a calm person, he still could not control the exhilaration in his heart. Your subordinate speaks the truth and has confirmed that Master Yi Xiao was seen in one of the palaces in the Middle Realm. And there was a group of powerful people around Master Yi Xia. Listening to the description from the people of the Middle Realm, it should be the night regime of the Dark Regions. The soldier replied earnestly and nodded with conviction. When he saw that Yi Xia had appeared amongst those black-robed men that day, his heart almost jumped out in excitement. Everyone in the Ruilin army knew that Yi Xia always followed by Jun Wuxi's side. That was Jun Wu Yao's arrangement and five years ago after that bloody battle, Jun Wu Yao was captured and Jun Wuxi disappeared. Yi Xia, Yi Mei and Yi Ge who followed her also went missing. Now that Yi Xia had appeared, it made people certain that Jun Wuxi was most possibly in the dark regions. Otherwise, why would Yi Xia appear? The appearance of Yi Xia had indirectly proved that the insistence of Jun Xian and the rest were not for naught. Jun Wuxi was definitely still alive. There was a still silence in the entire hall and Jun Xian took a deep breath as he let out the overwhelming happiness in his chest as he chortled heartily. Kling Yu lowered her head slightly as she wiped away the tears in her eyes. Mo Kie Nu An let out a sigh of relief and there was a hint of joy at the corner of his mouth that he did not even notice. That's good, that's good, as long as Wuxi is alive, nothing else matters. Gali Sheng was greatly relieved as he spoke, Chapter 2268, A Period of Years In the period of five years, although everyone was convinced that Jun Wuxi was still alive, but in each of their hearts, down in the deepest recesses, there was still a thread of uncertainty. As long as they did not receive any news pertaining to her, this thread of uncertainty could not be relaxed. They had been afraid and worried and the news received today was the best news it had received over the past five years. Jun Xian nodded his head slightly, although he tried to cover it up, but it was not difficult to see that he was nervous and excited at this moment. Go, immediately disseminate the news to Jun King and the others. The Middle Realm, they have to go to the Middle Realm, Jun Wuxi is still alive. It has been so many years. How did that child endure it? Quick, bring Giaochu and his companions back to meet with her. No matter what, they must find her. Jun Xian raised his hand excitedly as his fingertips trembled slightly. His family's Wuxi, his darling little granddaughter. The devastation that happened five years ago, even those who did not participate in it had their hairs stand on ends when they heard what had happened. What more of Jun Wuxi who had personally experienced it herself? Jun Xian knew that although his granddaughter looked cold on the surface, her deep concern for others was not something that other people could understand. Personally witnessing her own grandmaster sacrifice himself in order to save her, helplessly watching Jun Wu Yao who had always been by her side captured. That level of despair Jun Xian did not even dare to think how Jun Wuxi had passed these five years by. I will immediately head out to inform Giaochu and the others. Kling Yue stood up and nodded her head slightly to Jun Xian. Although she left in a calm manner, but the hands that were hidden in her sleeves were already trembling uncontrollably. On the lands of the former Qi Kingdom, 
between the mountains was an illusory place that had appeared silently five years ago. Kling Yu I brought people here and looked at the bamboo house that was just outside the grey light and she slowly walked over. Five years ago, with the uprise of the nine temples, they had suppressed the entire middle realm and the spirit world received inexplicable undulations. In order to protect the spirits, the spirit master did not hesitate to consume a large part of his power to transfer the entire spirit world to the lower realm. The nine temples had been bitterly searching through the middle realm but could never find it. They had long moved to the lower realm. In the bamboo house, Several soldiers of the Ruilin army saw Kling Yu arrive. Just as they were about to kneel down in ceremony, she raised her head slightly to stop them. Her eyes immediately fell on the beds within the house. In this area, there were many bamboo houses and the number was comparable to the number of houses in a small city. In each bamboo house, other than the beds, there was nothing else. The bamboo house which Kling Yu I had stepped into had twenty beds in it. On each bed, there was a person sleeping soundly on it. Kling Yui's gaze swept through the beds in front of her. Giao Chu, Hu Yan, Fan Zuo, Fi Yan, Rong Muo, Jun King, Long Chi, Mu Qian Fan, Little Ju, Wen Xin Han, Lei Chen, Bei Yun Xian, Yin Yan. The faces of the people on the bed were so familiar. After the turmoil in the Middle Realm and ever since Jun Wuxi's disappearance, Kiao Chu and the others delved into a state of madness. If not for Jun Xian's death order that did not allow them to step one step into the middle realm, Kiao Chu and the rest would have already lost their lives as they battled it out with the nine temples. With the advent of the spirit world, Kiao Chu and the others who had once experienced the staggering speed of cultivation in the spirit world had immediately used their links to the spirit world via the yin yang bear and the others to connect to the spirit world. Upon entering an agreement with the spirit master, they entered the spirit world to cultivate, chapter 2269, a period of years, over the five years. Jun King and the others joined in as well because they had a common enemy. The spirit master specially opened an entrance for the people of the lower realm. Even the soldiers of the Iron Blood Army and the Ruilin Army had been given the opportunity to enter the spirit world to cultivate. Empress, to what do we owe the honor of your presence today? The soldiers of the Ruilin Army looked at Kling Yui who came with a strange expression. For so many years, Although the flame country had ceased to exist but because of the relationship between Kling Yue and Jun Wuxi, the people from the Ruilin army had been accustomed to addressing her as Empress. Kling Yue took a deep breath before she raised her eyes slightly. Despite her cold demeanor, there was a trace of happiness on her face. There is something to discuss with them. I need to summon them back. May I know whom should we summon? One soldier walked to the side and picked up the soul card. That soul card was something that the spirit master had created with his power and the words written on it would be transmitted to the spirit world. This was a convenient form of communication. Kling Yu I replied, everyone. That soldier was stunned momentarily and he quickly returned to his senses. Kling Yu I looked out the window and stared at the scenery, the smile that had never appeared for five years had finally blossomed on her face. Tell them that the person that they have been waiting for would be back soon. At the same time, in the middle realm, under the precipitous cliff that no one had never been to was shrouded in thick mist. Under the layers of thick mist, if one looked down, the bottom could not be seen. Rumors had it that under the rift valley, it was a boundless abyss. Even the birds could not find a place to land. However, beneath the mist about a kilometer away, the very place that instilled fear into the hearts of the middle realm was quietly hidden. Dark regions. The sky could not be seen in the dark regions and it should be a world of darkness yet countless lights illuminate this hidden world. That man dressed in the black light armor walked quietly along the main path, and the dark majestic buildings towered on each side. Yi Sha brought his people to the highest palace in the dark regions. When the other members of the dark regime who stood outside the palace saw Yi Sha approaching, they nodded their heads slightly and did not stop him but stepped forward to open the tightly shut heavy door. The moment the door opened, in the wide hall, two familiar figures appeared in front of him. The speed is pretty fast. How did you do today? Standing in the middle, Yi Mei asked. Seeing Yi Sha sauntering over, he arched his brows. Yi Ge who stood by the side also turned his head around and sized him up as he looked at Yi Sha's body which was still soaked in blood. Seven. 
Yi Sha said as he glanced back at Yi Mei. 8. Yi Mei raised his chin slightly as he flicked out eight fingers to reiterate his claim. Yi Sha glared at him coldly. 15. Yi Gu coldly harumphed. Yi Sha and Yi Mei shut up immediately, compared to Yi Gu, their measly results could not hold a candle to his and they had nothing to be proud of. Cough. Who's gonna compare such things with you guys? Where is young miss? Yi Sha cleared his throat and decided not to self-invite any humiliations in front of Yi Gu. Having said that, Yi Mei immediately converged the smile on his face, he turned his gaze to the back of the main hall and lifted his chin slightly. Young Miss is praying for her grandmaster and the others. Yi Sha's heart sank. Five years ago, on this very day, Ren Huang had sacrificed himself in exchange for their lives. The three of them seemed to have reached a consensus and walked towards the rear of the main hall. At the rear of the main hall, a cluster of candle lights illuminated the entire hall and a slender back appeared in their vision. Chapter 2270 A period of years that figure wore a black robe looked especially lonely amongst the white candles. She stood still as the warm flickering glow from the candle flames cast her shadow against the wall. When she heard the faint sound of footsteps, she turned around. A beautiful countenance appeared before the three of them. That stunning face was peerless and impeccable. Compared to five years ago, there was much lesser childlike features. Instead, now she had blossomed and her temperament had became more polished. It was a unique charm that only women had. There was no emotions on her fair face. She stood there like a perfectly carved statue as she faced the warm candlelight. Although it was such a beautiful sight, but somehow it made their hearts wince in pain. Young Miss. They each immediately got down on one knee. The person who stood before then was none other than Jun Wuxi who had survived the calamity five years ago. The passage of time had left a silent imprint on Jun Wuxi. On that face which always had on a cold expression, there was an additional touch of chilliness. A tall and majestic black beast stood by her side, its smooth coat of fur looked even more enchanting under the candlelight as it exuded an oppressive aura. June Wuxi's gaze swept over the three of them and she raised her hand slightly dot with the flourish of her sleeves. A silent wind stirred and in an instant, tens of thousands candle flames had been extinguished in an instant. She slowly walked out into the midst of the main hall walking past the three of them. The three of them exchanged glances and immediately followed behind. June Wuxi sat on the throne with her legs crossed with one hand beneath her chin. There was not a shred of emotion on her captivating face, it was as if that moment of loneliness before was just a figment of their imagination. The black beast lay crouched by her feet. Over the past five years, Little Black no longer appeared in the form of a black cat. It accompanied June Wuxi in its majestic form, only it knew her thoughts. Whatever was on her mind, it knew and the current June Wuxi did not need that adorable little black cat but the powerful and majestic black beast by her side. How was it? June Wuxi asked in a cold tone, it was as if a glacier was floating on the surface of the water. In reply to young Miss, as per your instructions, we have already started the assault on all the palaces built by the upper realm. Today, thirty palaces were destroyed. We believe that the people of the upper realm in the nine temples would not sit still for long. Yish immediately reported. June Wuxi's eyes narrowed as she said in a languid manner, continue. Yes. Yisha nodded his head and he suddenly seemed to have thought of something as he said in a cautious manner, young miss, while I was at one of the palaces, I discovered someone whom I suspect to be from the Ruilin army. The moment he said that, the hand that was supporting her face suddenly stiffened. Yigu immediately casted an unpleasant glance over at Yisha with a frown. Yisha gritted his teeth and continued, it wasn't only today. Previously your subordinate had also discovered that in the middle realm, there's the presence of the Ruilin army, but their actions are extremely hidden and had never been discovered by the people of the Nine Temples. Your subordinate suspects that they could be monitoring the Nine Temples and seem to be preparing for something. After he finished, he secretly observed her reaction. But after her hand had stiffened at that moment, she had recovered and behaved as usual. She slowly raised her gaze and said in a calm voice, all right. Yi Sha was slightly stunned. Jun Wuxi actually had nothing else to say. Only all right. 